Friends, in 2022 UPSC mains essay rating, out of the 8 essays, I am making video on each essay. The first, second, third essays videos are already there. You can find in description. This is a video for the fourth essay. The essay is a ship in harbor is safe. But that is not what ship is for. Ship is made for. That is not what ship is for. Ship is not made to be in the harbor. So broadly, the meaning of the statement as it is, is that a ship is not made to be in the harbor. A ship is actually made to sail. Maybe for transporting the passengers or goods or for mining or warships for the war, fishing ships for fishing. So ship is made for a purpose. The purpose is not to keep in the harbor. However, generally ships are kept in the harbor for unloading or loading the goods or passengers or you know for the fuel. For these things ships are kept in the harbor but that is not the purpose of the ship. So that is the meaning of the statement as it is. However, symbolically it means that generally we should not try to stay in the comfort zone always. We have to go out, do things, work hard. Sometimes you may fail, but you should not be afraid of the failure. You have to come out of the comfort zone. Just like how a ship should go out of the harbor in order to do or meet the purpose it is made for. Similarly, we all, maybe human beings, countries, organizations, acts, laws, ideas, whatever, whatever they are made for, they have to go out and pursue that rather than staying, you know, ideally at a place. And symbolically, that's what this quotation means. Now, how do we structureize the essay? My favorite structure of the essay is, you start in the introduction, you start with a story, a story which is very relevant to the topic given. In the story also, you have to use the same words, like this is not meant for that one, you know, uh, the purpose is that one, though it is safe, you should come out of that. Using the same words, you have to build up a story in the first paragraph. Then you try to explain the meaning of the statement as it is, whatever you feel the meaning is, explain it. And then symbolically, what does it mean? That is for interpretation. As it is, it just talk, talks about ship and harbor, as it is. But symbolically, what does it mean is I, what I call interpretation. You write your own interpretation. Your interpretation may not be same as my interpretation, but still doesn't matter. Just you have to substantiate your interpretation throughout the essay, that's all. So, first uh, write a story, then explain the meaning of this uh, uh, statement and write the interpretation. Then, try to give several examples to substantiate the statement. And when you give examples, try to select some examples for economy, some from international relations, some for individual person, ethics, moralities, some for science technology. I mean, try to write the essay multi-dimensionally. However, after that, you should even tell why harbor is also important. Why should ship come to the harbor? Why sometimes during cyclone, storm, whatever, why ship, ship should stay in the harbor sometimes rather than going on a journey for safety? Why you should not take some certain kind of risk? That aspect also you should write. Otherwise, your essay becomes a monotony, a single viewpoint. Always try to write two to three viewpoints so that you know the evaluator feels that you have completed the essay in all its entirety. So, towards the end, write the opposite viewpoint and try to balance both the viewpoints, finally conclude by balancing the viewpoints. This is what I would say is a good structure of the essay. Fancy structure of the essay as I told you, introduce the story, then meaning of this as it is, then interpretation of this and then you know using for examples you have to write the essay. Then what is your opinion? The opinion suggestions are very important, friends. Always write what is your opinion on the topic and give some suggestions to the government, or the public, people, whatever. Really, I mean, I mean, which is inconsistent with the topic given the essay. For me, I, I consider these two as very important because I always tell to students that most of the students in the last three to four years for these kind of essays, they're filling the entire essay with just, you know, examples. They write a lot of examples. And they feel very happy that they wrote the essay very well. But along with examples, what is your opinion on the topic? And what are your suggestions, your advice on certain things? Shall we include in the essay? Then, as I told you, write some arguments against the topic given and try to balance them in the conclusion. That's how the structure of the essay, according to me, should be. Friends, see, what are the points I tell here? 
definitely i am telling the points after the exam is over but student who is in the examination under the exam pressure you definitely cannot generate as many points as i am generating here if i am in the exam definitely i cannot generate so many points but as this is after exam after exam analysis i might be telling more number of points but the structure is more important than the number of points which you write in the essay now the introduction in introduction i would like to start with women because for me you know the statement is very similar to what we think about women traditionally means from the from several ages most of us think that women are meant to be in the home they should stay in the home take care of children do domestic work take care of the family that's what they're meant to be so they should not go out that's a traditional thinking but now we understood because of you know several social reformers and several, several social scientists because of that now we got awareness that women are not actually meant to be in the home that's what that's not what they're made for actually women can go out and mine has no gender both men and women can equally participate in the economy get education participate in the employment participate in the politics political development so just like the ship women though they are safe in the home though women are safe in their homes that is not the purpose of the woman in that way i would you know explain the given statement in terms of women even i would tell that recently supreme court also in a judgment said the women can in fact write nda exam also and they can enter into all three services of army navy air force they can go i mean those services are not meant only for men even women can go into services so with that i would finish my introduction and as i told you i use the same word see women are safe at home just like how ship is safe at harbor but this is not uh, you know this is not what women are for I means just like this is not what ship is for so I always suggest you to use the same language given in the essay topic so that evaluator feels that you are keeping yourself very close to the essay in the upsc notification for essay they clearly mentioned that keep yourself close to the essay so always be relevant and show that you are keeping the answer very close to the topic given in the essay that's why i always suggest you to use the same language that is used in the topic question question now friends now uh, after the introduction i told you i would tell that you know ship is built for sailing for navigation for transporting goods or passengers or for mining or war ships for war fishing ships for fishing I mean ship is built for a purpose but a harbor is also important because harbor is a place where you load and load and harbor is a place where you get the fuel harbor is a place where you get the repairs done harbor is important but this is the purpose of the ship this is not the purpose of the ship so ship does not if if ship does not meet its purpose then there is no point of uh, having a ship at all that is the actual true meaning of that topic now what is our interpretation for example my interpretation i would say that you know we have to come out of a comfort zone though it is very safe for you to stay in the comfort zone very safe that's not what you are meant to be that's not what you are made for to stay in your home to stay in comfort zone so you have to come out of the comfort zone and work to achieve whatever you want to achieve in your life which is the goals so you have to try something without being afraid without being afraid of failure generally most of the people to start something or innovate something to work on something to come out of comfort zone they are afraid of the failure so you should not be afraid of the failure you should not sit idle in the home rather come out work try to achieve something it's okay if you fail it's okay if you fail so you can take risk however there should be balance for example a ship cannot go into the ocean when there is a storm when there is a cyclone better to stay in the uh, harbor similarly better to not take such kind of risks risks which will affect you now in that way i will explain the meaning of interpretation of the statement in my own words now as i told you let us discuss different dimensions different examples just to substantiate the topic given continuously for example idea an idea that comes into the mind if it is not implemented if the idea does not go into the implementation there is no point so keeping the ideas in the mind staying in the comfort zone feeling happy doesn't really matter you have to go to apply the idea same with innovation for example you have invented something in the laboratory maybe your invention is for farmers for agriculture or for people society you have to go out and able to implement it and make it usable by the uh, farmer society otherwise the innovation though you get the patent for the innovation the innovation staying in the laboratory itself doesn't really matter so any idea or innovation hmm, is not made to stay in the mind stay in the laboratory it has to go out and be implemented so 
with that point of view, uh, one of my third examples, Edison and Tesla. For example, according to me, Tesla is a far better scientist than Edison. But why Edison became more familiar, more famous, and why Edison is, you know, mostly discussed in the, in the scientific circles. The reason is, though Tesla has hundreds of ideas, he could not really come out and implement most of them. <clears throat> most of them are on the paper or in, in his brain, in his mind. Whereas Edison, though he has few ideas, is able to repeatedly try to implement them, though he failed hundreds of times. Edison failed hundreds of times in implementation of ideas. Though he failed several times, still he succeeded finally by implementing. So, though his ideas are limited, he is able to implement them. That's why Edison became famous. So, this is my third example. You can use other examples, other thinkers, scientists, philosophers, whatever. For example, similarly, not only pharmacy, any, any sector, though you have several patents innovation, the, the innovation is not meant to be in the lab, it has to be out into the implementation. For example, agricultural innovations have to be taken out by the government through extension services. Government of India has several schemes for extension services, taking the ideas of agriculture, whatever developed in the laboratory, into the rural areas, into the remote areas, remote farmlands, to the farmers, so that you know the productivity of the uh, crops will be increased, so that even dry land farming can be done. Even with little water supply, we can actually produce more in India, in a uh, India where 60% of land is dry land. Similarly, R&D, whatever social scientists, what are the thing, they should be able to apply it in, in society and make it use for the people. So friends, in this aspect, the dimension is about idea or innovation. And after discussing two or three of these things, I would suggest to write your opinion on that and your suggestion. For example, what should government do or what should scientists do in order to convert that innovation into application? What kind of schemes government has to facilitate so that these things will be achieved? Like that European suggestion. The next dimension, next example in fact, this is just an example, is I will talk about laws or acts. See, there are several laws, several acts, several excellent acts, good acts are there, made by the parliament or state legislature, but most of them, or some of them rather, are not very well implemented. So, a law, Though, see, though it's very easy, comfortable to make a law, publish a law, but to implement it is risky sometimes because some laws to implement them, public acceptance may not be there. For example, take Dowry Prohibition Act. Dowry Prohibition Act, though all of us know the dowry is prohibited, there is an act like that, still even the people working in the government sector, even the, even the employees who are meant to stop you know, this practice of dowry are actually participating within their own families, participating, you know, in giving and taking dowry. So what happens here is though the act is there in the book, uh, there is no public acceptance, more or less. That's why this act, you know, still is not widely implemented in India. So it is very comfortable, safe to make a law, to show to the public that see, this is a law, government made the law, but that's not the point of making a law. It's not the point of a law. The point of law is to implement it. General public awareness, punish the people who are still giving or taking dowry. So similarly, uh, just like how we explain dowry, you can take some more acts which you think are not very well implemented. Minimum wage act is not really very well implemented. Even corporate social responsibility, 2013 companies act is not really very well implemented. Even several, not only environment protection act, several environmental acts, laws or policies are not really very well implemented. Most of the industrialists are today, even the government municipalities, railways are also till today breaking some of the environmental laws even right information excellent act for transparency a basic basic you know a pillar for democracy is transparency of what the government is doing though we have got a very good article 2005 it it is not really being very well implemented because most of the you know information that is sought after by the public is still not given by the government using you know few laws or loopholes in the rta act similarly several laws are there to protect the uh, rights of the tribes a livelihoods of the tribes, very good acts are there. For example, you know, the scheduled tribes, other forest dealers, conservation of forest act is there, 2006. It's an excellent act, though implementation is very good. Even several uh, tribes even today are getting displaced uh, with the proper rehabilitation. Most of their livelihood uh, opportunities have been snatched away, even not only private people, but by certain government agencies also. So you can discuss about all of them and tell that laws or acts 
are not meant though they are safe easy comfortable to be in the book implement is difficult risky but you have to do that and as you write this dimension i suggest you to write your opinion on these things and give some suggestions of how it should be implemented shall we increase the punishments or shall we increase the awareness levels or shall we put better machinery to monitor whether the act is implemented feedback generation grievance redressal mechanisms what mechanism right suggestion friends i feel nps examination giving suggestions your ideas is very important not just write examples similarly same just like how i told about the laws in india international laws for example or international organizations for example world trade organization even even right now in the present doha round also some of the decisions taken by wto are not really very democratic wto is actually made to enhance free trade to achieve free trade but some of the decisions are appearing as if they are favoring multinational companies as their decisions are influenced by some of the developed countries so there is no transparency there is no democracy mncs are favored more than local uh, institutions or maybe local communities so in that way you can, you can tell that the very purpose of wto very purpose has been defeated so it is very comfortable for wto you know just to follow the orders of developed countries or mncs it is risky for them to fight for the uh, under developed countries developing countries maintain trust difficult but that's what they have to do because that is the reason why it is for wto wto is not formed to be influenced by uh, mncs or whatever it is formed to achieve free trade so in that way you can write about that even league of nations for example league of nations is actually is a predecessor predecessor of the united nations after the world war 1 it is formed actually to stop the international to resolve the international disputes to make the parties sit and try to solve the problem rather than going into a war but second world war happened the purpose of lo1 is defeated because it could not really take the bold decisions good decisions it does not have the unity of the world force at that time and so it failed so from this united nations have to le learn a lesson or two from league of nations failure so you can talk about that also for example tell some law have taken the law law over the seas united nations convention of law over the seas but you can say take some other law and tell how for example this law is not really being uh, you know followed by china in the uh, in the south china sea even the east china sea also so so most of the laws just like the same argument that you have given for india same thing you can talk about the international laws also now friends even the just like wto the international bodies like world bank imf even now lot of reforms are required because the purpose why imf and world bank are formed the purpose is right now not being served not being served because of influence of developed countries so they have to take bold decisions come out of the comfort zone comfort zone india has suggested several reforms in the world bank imf you can mention those reforms in the suggestions in the suggestions you can write the reforms suggested by developing countries particular india into the world bank or you know imf can be written in the examination and then even some other law united nations united nations general assembly has passed you know the convention of elimination of all forms of discrimination against women however throughout the world in many countries many communities even now there is discrimination of women that means this has really not being implemented well similarly friends coming out of the comfort zone see the reason why i am always using the word comfort zone is because my interpretation of the essay is one should come out of the comfort zone because that is not what they are meant to be they have to come out of the comfort zone and they have to do the things for which they are formed as that is my interpretation hence i used keep on using the same word you have to keep on using the same word that is given in the essay or that's what the or which one you have interpreted so friends election commission see just conducting of elections is not democracy you have to conduct free and fair elections there should not be muzzle power there should not be money power influence in elections and you know the hate speech or the, you know the money power had to be punished by election commission only then we call to democracy just conducting elections is like ship, ship at the harbor being very safe safely conduct the elections it are coming out of comfort zone but election commission has come out of comfort zone take the decisions punish the wrong doers had to follow the code of uh, election the code of election is strictly followed so in that way i would say election commission has to learn a lesson or two from this from this court quotation given in the essay similarly even human rights commission human rights commission just publishing reports of course human rights commission has not been given enough teeth to punish but still just publishing of reports is not what is meant to be 
it should be able to punish at least it should uh, recommend uh, the concerned organizations and push the organizations to punish the wrongdoers who are against the human rights even the government departments which are not following which are abusing the human rights shall be punished so in that way they have to come out of the comfort zone because they are not meant to be just publishing reports just like ship staying in the harbor is very safe human rights commission just writing the report publishing is very safe but ship is not meant to be at the harbor it has to go out and do the purpose human rights commission also just publishing reports is not enough it has to come out and implement this uh, uh, reports and uh, pursue the organizations to uh, follow the recommendations same thing i would use you know for the moral ethics for example you know in the schools colleges everywhere you see the quotations morals ethics will be there but that is not what the morals is for they have to be cultivated in the young minds i mean the people the students the pupils they have to be cultivated among the students and that is what the purpose of you know uh, pasting those uh, or hanging those uh, morals on the walls of the institutions colleges or schools so if that is not done if the teachers management are unable to bring that from the walls into the minds of people there is no point of it being on the walls so similarly even civil service code the code of conduct civil services in civil services in exam also ethics paper is there in the exam in interview also there is somehow test uh, somewhat test ethics in the training in the, in the training labs and also there is uh, you know training on making you honest and test telling you what integrity means uh, and making you compassionate uh, you know creating empathy in you so they try to do all these things however however those ethics are or morals are mostly in the books or in the training but there is no real mechanism or incentive for officers who are following the integrity i mean who are having integrity who are following the moral ethics but that is important just like how ship is safe in the harbor the morals and ethics will be very safe in the training session in this examination but we have to incentivize the people uh, Uh, who follow ethics that is not happening so you try to do suggestions again from telling you suggestions keep on telling your ideas suggestions opinions that is very important not just the facts for example the mlas mps ministers you know uh, who come out of the mlas mps ministers so they all make oath but making oath is very comfortable but following it is what is required the oath is made so that they follow it if they are not following it only making the oath what is the purpose like this so So doctors, uh, doctors make hypocritical oath, and professional ethics for lawyers, doctors, engineers, whatever. Just they are there mostly in the code, in the book, but they have to implement it. So now you suggest what government have to do, or what certain or NGOs also can do, or how can you create awareness so that these things are followed, ensured. This is going to be ensured. Friends, then government generally, as you see, forms committees, panels, commissions to recommend. For example. there are more number of road accidents government sundar committee for uh, how do you ensure uh, you know, road safety or railways certain committee for railways or you know fisheries development meena kumari committee or banking reforms are required that's one committee so there are committees formed by government for, for example administrative reforms are required second arc second administrative reforms commission like that for example in the constitution of india what are the various changes required in constitution of india for that you know justice venkata chaliya commission justice venkata chaliya national commission to review the working of the constitution like that for example on corporate governance government wants uh, recommendations to implement uh, narendra chandra committee for example central state relations uh, as uh, central state relations of india because in the multi party system where central state government have different political parties ruling there is more problem rift between center and state to solve those problems what has to be done so like that government is forming several commissions but forming a committee or commission is not to just accept the recommendation and go through it that's very comfortable and safe the purpose is to implement the recommendation government should have that uh, guts to implement it political will not guts political will to implement the uh, recommendations if they are not implemented at least not tried see if you try the recommendations some of them may be you know failed because some of them may not be accepted but some of them at least can be achieved just like how i said everybody should not sit in their home ideally in the comfort zone should come out and work without being afraid of failure the political parties government should implement recommendations without being afraid of failure if without being afraid of the public wrath or whatever so that in that way i would you know write this particular paragraph and here i would tell how you can write your own uh, reports also but friends i'll tell you 
any one dimension, one or two paragraphs only. Don't overdo it. Don't write three pages only on the various reports because this question is not on the reports. Question is about the, don't be in the comfort zone. Similarly, friends, political parties, very easy to give freebies. Government will ask, once they come into the government, there will be some public fund. Using the public fund, giving freebies, giving the laptop, cycles. You know, it's very easy to give freebies. Very easy. But that's not what a public fund is for. That's not what the political party comes to power for. They have to use their fund in such a way that it creates skills, better education, better health, infrastructure. In the long term, the state has to develop. So whatever is comfortable but not helpful in long term shall be avoided. See, it is very safe, very comfortable. Ship in the harbor can be very safe. Political parties are very safe to just spend the money. It's happening in some of the state government. Some of the state governments in India right now are just spending money, not infrastructure, but as freebies, as subsidies, because it's very comfortable, very easy, very happy. But that's not what government is meant for. People have chosen a political party to come into the power, expecting that they would develop their lives in long term, develop skills, develop livelihoods. So in that way, similarly, for example, see friends, physical deficit, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, very easy to increase the limit, okay. Till 7% that is increasing physical deficit, 8% is very easy. But trying to control physical deficit at the same time, spending the money on the important uh, development activities, welfare schemes is a very risky challenge. But that has to be done by the government. Similarly, subsidies are not really wanted for everybody. Subsidies may be required for the poorest or poorer for certain sections. But government running on subsidies is not the right thing to do. It has to invest in uh, skill development, health, education, you know. Uh, the capital expenditure should be more so that in long term it will be beneficial for the state government, central government, the people, public society. So friends, in that way, you can write about the, this dimension, this dimension. Then, as I said already, civil servants, very comfortable to follow the political orders given by the political bosses. Very comfortable. What the majority wants, you do it. Very comfortable. But that's not what civil servants are for. Civil servants have better knowledge than the politicians because they come to an examination, they have avoid exposure. So they have to do what is right, morally, ethically right, legally right. Even if it is against the political boss orders, they should, even if they, see, even if, even if their decision is against the political bosses, if they think it is right, they have to do it. Of course, if they do it, they may be transferred or it may not be accepted, but they should not be afraid of the failure. That is the point here. Ship, if it goes for the sale, if it sails, there may be some risk, some problem, but it has to go for that. Because ship is made for that one only. Ship is not made to stay in the harbor. Civil servants are made to do that. Any um, wrong things done with politicians, society does not know. Society may not know certain things. So civil servants have to, by consulting the society and political leaders, they have to do what is right. Similarly, for example, certain jobs may be monotonic. And some people, they, they have a lot of ideas. They want to create something. But they do not want to leave the job. Because though they want to create something, they are afraid. So again, uh, if, if such a person who is more suitable to create something new, have to go out of the job. Similarly, for example, India. India right now has very good chance of becoming a global power, not only financially, economically, but also ethically. I mean, because India is a large country, democratic country, wide acceptance is there. And, uh, you know, big democracy, the biggest democracy. So, given those conditions, India has high chances of becoming global power. However, that is possible only if India can take bold decisions. Take, for example, considering its national interest and considering the ethics, considering these two, our decision should not be influenced by any other power, world power or world countries. So in such a way, India should not try to be in the comfort zone, should go out of the comfort zone, take decisions, bold decisions, only then India can become a responsible, global power, responsible, because ethical, responsible, whatever we ought to do, we should do. For example, friend, in 1991, India was afraid to go for liberalization, privatization, globalization. Afraid because we did not know what happens because large economy. Nobody knows if suddenly open up the uh, economy for the private players. Suddenly uh, increase the FDA, FIA or globalization. So suddenly if you liberalize the various sectors and reduce the control of government, then what happens? I do not know. But if India stays in the comfort zone of the previous socialism, comfort zone if you stay, then we'll have the Hindu growth rate, 3%, 2%, 4% only. But India has taken the risk, gone for LPG reforms, and we are able to touch even 10% uh, GDP growth, we are able to touch because of that good decision. So you can write about that one. You can write the positive things. See, mostly, you know, I'm trying to tell some negative aspects, positive aspects, neutral aspects. So you have to balance your essay 
all the points should have negative all should have positive try to balance them in examples also try to balance them then friends come to the people now uh, leave, leave the countries institutions organizations whatever come to the people there are some great people good examples who came out of the comfort zone for example gandhi is a very good lawyer he can actually earn well settle well as a lawyer is very good lawyer but he came out of the comfort zone he is getting good income also he left the income came comfort zone and he worked for the poor because he felt that he felt that in south africa he felt that his ideas satyagraha required you know in order to stop eliminate the injustice happening in south africa and same thing happened in india also for the freedom he felt that he has to work for the freedom of india freedom of the nation because that's required for the next generations so he came out of the comfort zone similarly madhya this also she is very comfortable with the principal of a college a school principal of a college or school as a teacher she is very comfortable but she came out of the work for the poor the lepers though there are many controversies about this issue definitely you can write the example similarly gautam buddha very comfortable you know as a prince he has all the wealth everything he wants but he felt that his purpose is different because based on ideas his thought he felt that his purpose is not to be as a prince come out and do something so he is very safe as a prince but he came out risked and now he became you know a guiding light for several people across the world Similarly, in Professor Aramurthy, he also has a very good job. He left the job, came out, established something because see, he has got a lot of ideas. So he came out, established a lot of uh, established an empire. Similarly, for example, during the COVID time, doctors and police they are very safe in their home, but po police and doctors are not meant to stay safe in the home. Just like how ship is safe in the harbor, they are all safe in the home in their home in COVID. But ship is made to sail. Similarly, police and doctors are made to help the public in times of need. doctors came out we have real respect and applaud the doctors because they work risking their life police are risking their life police and doctors so try to highlight this example friend because one thing is current affairs and second thing is this these two have done really great job okay so if you want you can repeat the sentence uh, ship is safe in the harbor police and doctors are safe in the home during covid however ship is not made to stay in the harbor it is sail Police and doctors are made to help the public, so they have to come out and help in the times of need. Then, similar friends, you can write, for example, uh, um, waterfalls are there. Waterfalls. So, when you are able to generate energy from that, you generate energy. That means, generally, you have, you have got an idea to generate energy. You try experiment, work on that. Though it is a failure, you still try to generate energy. Finally, we are able to generate hydroelectric power. Similar agriculture, soil. It is very easy to do subsistence subsistence farming, basic farming is easy to do. But you have to try different methods, fertilizers, you know, equipment, uh, precision farming, or some other methods. Try it. So increase the productivity, productivity. So like that, you have to work in order to. That's why India still have to go along. Indian farmers have to go along. They have to come out of their comfort zone and try to produce more. Use the latest technology methods. Same with solar energy, wind energy, all these things. However, friend, now towards the end, as I told you, let us try to write opposite point of view. The point of view is, sometimes ship should be in the harbor during cyclone, storm, when there is high risk of going into high risk if it goes into the ocean to for a sail, it has to stay in the harbor. Similarly, we also, as a nation, as public society, as public as a person, there are sometimes when we should not take some risk, keeping the point of safety. We should not take. such examples you can use to substantiate this argument to substantiate this argument you can talk about for example forests of course forests can be used as raw material for for industries they can be used as domestic resources however over exploitation of forests using them completely would be risky for the environment in the long term similarly agriculture of course you have to follow the latest technology methods you have to increase the yield but uh, over use of synthetic fertilizers would really affect the agriculture soil in the long term soil similarly means basically you should not over do anything you should not take that uh, uh, too much of risk the effect in the long term for example india see india is making nuclear weapons not to actually destroy any country the purpose of nuclear weapons in india is to deter deter any enemy country to attack india that's why we have no first use policy though it is changed in recent days there is no first use policy so deterrence so here ship is safe in the harbor only than going out like that our nuclear weapons are actually made to deter not to not to be used similarly friends mining in forests mining is very important for economic development and most of the mining is done in the forest areas however 
there is a limit you cannot exceed you cannot destroy the entire forest for mining and, and excessive mining also will lead to you know complete elimination of all resources for the next generation which affects the sustainable development so during the covid also during the covid when there is a lockdown it's better to stay in the home because it's risky to go out stay in the home just like how ship cannot go out in cyclone you cannot go out in the covid then it is severe you try to you know the point is i'm trying to give examples to substantiate the second point of view the negative point of view friends how do i conclude i conclude by writing something like whether ship has to stay in the harbor or go out depends on many factors you have to carefully consider all the factors discuss and deliberate experts to take a decision for example sometimes ship has to stay in the harbor only sometimes it has to go out similarly any decision of government of a person society whatever whether you have to come out of comfort zone whether to do something or not depends upon several factors you have to carefully judge those factors and take a decision in that way i would conclude this essay thank you friends next essay i would make another video and for the videos on every essay topic see in the description for each essay topic i have made one video take your friends see you bye